One of the extremely cool new features on version 3.5 is its new onset posing control, which is terribly easy to use. All you do is click the pose control orb and it automatically goes into a posing mode. And as you can see, there is a representation of our actor with dots showing the various bones. So you can select bones the old fashioned way, like uh, simply clicking on them and as you can see it goes to the elbow or you can directly select them from the uh, little guy here and if you select a hand you get a detailed thing on our hand and you can go back simply by clicking on the little guy there so anyways but what I really want to show you is the new posing control wheel that we have which is a lot more predictable and easy to use and fun and all sorts of good things. So basically what we have are a wheel with three axes and as you move the cursor over it you will see that one of the axes or in the case of an intersection two of the axes turn gold and that means you can manipulate them. So if I click on this one then I am rotating this in those two axes. So we can rotate it up and down, we can rotate it forwards and back and so on. If I want to rotate it only in a single axis, then I can click directly on one of them and then it only moves in that axis. But let's put her hand down here and it looks like her thumb is a little wonky there so we can move that down back into position and voila we have posed her if for some reason you want to rotate a bone in an orientation that the controller doesn't currently support you can either press the alt key and then that will rotate the wheel itself the same way as if you were rotating a bone but just the wheel moves or you could have clicked rotate selected wheel and then it tells you hey you could have pressed the alt key but we'll say okay and at this point, then we can, you know, do this any way we want. So now she is rotating along those two new axes that we've seen. And as you can see, it's really easy to use. I must say much easier than the old way. So, but we want things to get better, and I think we've made it better. So that is the new posing control. In addition to the new posing controls for actors, we have new and improved posing for objects as well. So for example, if I click the pose control orb for an object, I get this uh, control panel over here, similar concept to the, to the actors one, but I can then select which of the hinges I want and I can manipulate it that way. So there is one group for hands if it's a more complicated thing like a car you might have multiple groups like doors and wheels and so on and there's also as you noticed or may have noticed it jumped so that it was much larger in the frame so i could see what i was doing and it automatically goes into basically a free rotation mode and you can turn this off if you want but it enables you to look at it from different angles and manipulate it just like you do in free position mode but now you can do it on set and when you exit uh, which you can do simply by clicking again it then returns the shot to whatever it was beforehand so again it makes it much easier to manipulate so for example on this uh, sink we can just click here. Uh, it again fills the frame with the sink so that we can see what we're doing. We have the options to fill the sink with water. We can open the right cabinet and so on. And we can do again all of this on the set without having to bring it into the green room or free position. To exit it, we just click anywhere off of it or click the edit pose button and we are back to where we were, but now with the pose train.